Hello there! Today we're going to be looking into writing letters with Scratch. Today specifically we're going to be looking at the letter A and how to properly write it in Scratch so we understand how to write letters. Let's go ahead and talk about writing letters in Scratch. So let's first think about the general idea of what letters are. Letters, if we look at them in the direction that all the letters should be written in, are basically just straight lines, angle lines, curved lines, circles, or dots. And this is the idea that we're going to be looking into as we're writing letters in Scratch. It makes it easier if we understand which direction you have to go, what kind of line are you using. Today, we're gonna to be writing the letter A. And as you can see, the letter A is basically angle lines and straight lines and also a circle here with a straight line. So that's the analogy or the idea that we're gonna be looking into to make sure that we write our letter A correctly and we understand how it works. Let's look at this project in Scratch. Let me give you a quick little demo of how the letter A is written. So basically, we're gonna walk you through all the steps that you need to know to be able to write this. As always, you start with a flag to let the program know that we're starting something when you click that green flag up here. And if you haven't done so already, do include your pen extension. To do that, all you have to do is go ahead and click down here at the blue area and then click on pen extension. That will give you all these blocks here that give you the ability to write on your canvas. Now let's go ahead and get started by first pulling this piece of code off and explaining what this does. This is basically what it does. It erases the canvas, sets the color of the pen and the size. So if I were to run it, nothing actually happens because all of this is being done in the background. You can't see it. Now, let's go ahead and set our sprite, which in my case, I selected a ball. I wanted something small, something that wasn't so big that you wouldn't be able to see the pen writing. Let's go ahead and move that pen and change its degree. So this is what this part of the program does. It basically puts that blue ball up in this location and then changes its direction. And that's all we do. Now, by selecting this piece of code here, I'm going to be writing the line that goes down and the other line that goes the other way. So those two are my two angle lines. This code here, up here, writes the first line. It glides down and then it's gonna jump itself up to the point up here again where it started and then write the other, the other side of the letter. And then we're gonna put this piece of code here. Very important, to be able to move that dot to this side to be, write that straight line, we have to pick up the pen. If we don't pick up the pen, then we're going to be writing all over the place. And you'll see that later as we walk you more through where this. So we pick up that pen and we move our dot to this location. And then we're gonna put the pen down and write the straight line that goes right across. As you can see, that's the straight line. Now, what we wanna do is go ahead and move that dot to the area over here to start the lowercase a. So we're gonna go do that. And if you can see, my pen started right here. And the reason it started there is because we haven't moved it over here and asked it to start over here and then move itself up here. So that we're gonna see right now until we finally get the program correctly. So now that our dot is here, what I wanna do is go ahead and build that circle. To build that circle that the lowercase a has, we're gonna put the pen down and we're gonna go in a circle. And if you can see, I did it in a counterclock direction because that's how you properly write the letter A. And now the final step, we're going to write the little stick that goes on the side. So that side angle stick that the lowercase a has and then move our pen down here. 
And right now you're gonna see all this weird stuff just because we just added that code. So you're probably thinking, that doesn't look correct. Correct, it doesn't look correct. But if we run it again, we should start at the right location. Because now our program knows that it had to pick up the pen and move it here. Previously, our pen was right here. It didn't know it needed to pick it up. It was starting all over, so it jumped from here and made the line that, made, that came up here and then started the program. But now, if you run the program, you should have the correct stuff. As you can see, that is a very simple way of writing the letter A. Now, at first it might be confusing because you're trying to understand the angles and the lines that you're trying to use. But as soon as you understand the proper way of writing the letter, which is the way we learned when we were younger, then writing the letter in scratch makes it much more easier. Understanding where do I start? Where does the letter end? Which kind of lines do I use? Is it lingo lines? Is it curved lines? Is it a dot? Is it a circle? That will help you understand how to write letters in Scratch. And for example, writing names will be amazing. If you guys want me to go write names, go ahead and send me some names in the comments below and I can write those names for you. Now that's all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Share these with other people. This is a great way to learn how to write letters if you're learning how to write letters and it is a great way to learn how to write them in Scratch. See you guys in the next one. Bye. I've been dreaming all in my head like I've seen